Hello once again and welcome to this tutorial on how to assign effects, effects to a Q-Link. Um, basically what I've done is I've loaded up a sample, um, a loop um, of a house drum sample. <clears throat> and what I'm going to do is I'm going to assign uh, a delay effect to this sample so I can have control over it in the Q-Links. So what we need to do obviously is load the sample and then we go to program mix on the hardware. So once we get to that, this is the sample I've loaded. It's just gonna loop. So what I need to do now is open up my effects and then select, and I'm just gonna use um, a, a mono, a delay mono loop. So we'll select that. Then we press program mix to exit and to enter again back into the performance mode. Now, we need to do something, a few things here. First of all, we need to select, just above the Q links, the effects tab. And after we've um, selected that, we then go to effects and this will default to none. So we select that we want this to hit the house loops 120 BPM and it says delay mono pad one insert one. Okay. What then comes up in the parameter drop down box is a number of actions dampening, feedback, time, and dry, wet, etc. So I'm going to use dry, wet, and as you can see at the bottom, the Q link Q1 it appears. I now have control over that. So what I need to do now. Is trigger that. Okay, and that's how you add effects, single pads, samples, and you can add, you can also um, set up several cue links and have control over the dampening feedback and time just for one pad. Thanks for watching, I hope this has been helpful.